A9 of clubs, love Sudo Connector, so many different ways to play it. I thought I was betting 4x the big blind because being smooth brained, I didn't see the straddle. Button calls and the big blind accidentally min three bets. Dealer thinks it's a call, but the straddle keeps insisting it's a raise for like a full minute. I guess he wants to four bet, but he just folds. Things like this is really great information for later is now I've pegged the straddler as a by the books kind of guy. The flop comes rainbow, 610, deuce, no clubs. I got a gut shot to a straight. I don't want to get re-raised, and I didn't seem strong, so I just check. The turn is a magic seven. It hit the nuts. I get my straight, and now there's a diamond draw. And if they had 10-9 or 9-6, 9-7, 8-7, they're one card away from straight, and I want all of them to pay. I want everyone to call me for a good time like a phone number carved in a truck stop bathroom. Unfortunately, the cutoff folds, but the big blind, he's taking his time to think about what he has and what I could potentially have and what I'm betting with. And he takes a solid 10 seconds to think about it. And eventually he puts his chips together and he calls. The amount of time he thinks about calling me or not here is going to be critical to note for later. The river is an eight of diamonds. It can't be any worse for me. The higher the straights gets there, all of the flushes get there. He could have called with a six of diamonds, a deuce of diamonds. What if he had king queen of diamonds? What would he do there? And as I'm thinking it through, he's counting his chips and he puts in 120. This is a major tell. If he had anything strong, he would have thought about it for more than 10 seconds to get max value from me. But instead, he puts in chips so fast, I'm almost certain that he's bluffing. He could be doing this with two pair as a blocker bet. But even if I raise on top of that, I don't think he's going to call me. So I'm just going to play it safe and just call. He says good call and shows me a deuce of diamonds and I take the pot down. Next, we got under the gun plus one raising 35 and I got six nine of spades. I'm going to call. There's a bunch of ways to play this, and especially in the cutoff, I should be pretty good in position. Button folds, small blind folds, big blind calls, and a straddle calls. So it's four ways to the flop. And I get the magic flop. Seven, eight of spades, and ace of clubs. That's a straight flush draw for me. The villain could have any ace X. He could have ace seven, ace eight. And even those instances, it's still a coin flip. Even if he has aces, I still have 40%. He puts in a bet of 75 and I'm looking to play a giant pot and trying to get all my chips in. I make close to a pot size bet and have about 300 left. The big blind thinks about it for about 10 seconds and folds. So does the under the gun. The original razor thinks about it for about 30 seconds and eventually folds. I wanted to play a big pot, but that's okay. I'll still take it down. And it's time for the Doyle Brunson hand. He won two WSOP bracelets with this and if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Granted, he was in a tournament and he was heads up and he's a legend and he's not playing against a tight cash player. But regardless, I put in 110. With such a big raise, he's gotta fold. I'm taking this down. Free 30 bucks. Wait, he's calling? Uh, well, crap. Uh, well, this should be fun. Flop comes Deuce, queen of clubs, and king of diamonds. I hit my deuce, but with my big pre-flop raise, I could easily have king, king, queen, queen, aces, ace, king. So I make my C bet and bet half the pot to get him out of here. And I mean like out of the pot and folding his hand and not continuing with a call. <sighs> okay, give me the turn. It's a deuce. I'll admit that's a super dirty turn. He's never going to see a deuce coming right here. I don't want to seem too strong making another bet. And I'm hoping that if I check here, I'll look a little weak. And when he bets, I'll call and then I'll show on the river. Nope, he's checking. He's just checking. The river is an innocuous five. And I'm hoping he's got ace king, ace queen and make that hero call because. And he snap calls and I show my deuce. He shows his cards too, and he had king queen. I saw the guy cashing out later, and he looks at me and he says, 10 deuce, really? And I'm like, hey man, I'm just a rec player chilling with my doils. Uh, 
Up next, we've got a pretty fun hand. We've got pocket knives. Love pocket pairs. And we're at the button, so let's bump it up to 30. Small blindfolds, big blindfolds, but middle position calls, hijack calls, and the cutoff calls. I get absolutely no respect, but that's totally fine because the way I've been playing, I wouldn't respect me either. The flop comes king, king, queen, king, queen of clubs, and I could represent a king or a queen, but no one's really going to believe me the way that I've been playing, so I'm just going to check it. The turn is a six of clubs completing the flush, and I do have a flush draw, but I'm just going to check and hopefully get to showdown. But the turn is a nine, giving me a boat. Now I'm regretting not making this pot bigger than it could have been. MP1 checks, but lucky for me, the hijack bets out for 30. I want to get value from all of the flushes that was slow playing, a queen, even a six, and maybe a nine, even pocket sixes, though the possibility of that is pretty low. I'm trying to figure out the best raise to get the maximum value. And I think if I bet too much, they're going to fold. So I'm just going to go two and a half X what he has and raise to 80. I'm hoping for a call. It's not going to be a big pop, but I'll be happy with it. But instead, he double checks his cards and he re-raises to 200. What? This guy's a super tight player and he must have been slow playing his kings, queens, king, queen, king, nine, slow playing his trips and hitting nine on the river. And I know there's no bluffs that he could be making here. And this is where my recreational fish sauce comes out of my ears because even though I know I'm beat, I just can't fold it. King Queen. Feeling like I'm punting on Andy. Scooting. I call. Go. Oh. We got me. And out plays. I knew he couldn't be bluffing and I knew I was beat, but I couldn't let go of that hand. That's something I need to work on to let those strong hands go when I know I'm beat. And I think there's a life lesson here also about letting my hand go instead of something important go like my chips. Next up, I got the hooks and I want to take down Peter Pan. I bet 24 X the big blind, the cutoff calls and the button calls. The big blind thinks for a while and super squeezes for 120. This guy's been aggressive the whole night and literally plays any cards, but he puts people in tough spots all the time with his big bets. It's kind of fun to play with him, but it is scary because he does show up with the good sometimes. For this period, I'm going to play these field hockey sticks by playing the man and not the puck. Don't they look like field hockey sticks? Cut off tanks for a minute and folds. I hope he folded an ace X and that the big blind was looking for an ace. The button also folds. Basically at this point, I'm prepared to just grip my teeth and just call all the way down to the river on anything because he could literally have anything. This board was 779. He's betting 150. He could have a seven. He could have seven nine. He could have three seven. He could have deuce nine of spades. He literally could have anything. And if I repop it, he could easily re-raise that. So I don't want to put myself in a tough spot. I'm just going to call. Turn is a three of hearts and he thinks for a while and then checks. And then I pretend to think for a while, and then I check. The river is a four of clubs. I could try to value bet here, but if and when he re-raises my bet, I don't want him to bluff me out of the pot. This is the benefit that he gets out of being a maniac. He said two pair, but was reluctant to show it, so I showed mine. Looks like I missed out on some value, but 